Hello, Aquarius. This is Meg with Padme's, and I'm doing your full moon reading for April. This is what they want to tell you that they haven't told you yet. And we're going to look at the situation energy, your energy around the situation, the person that you're thinking of or dealing with, their energy around the situation. We're going to look at what's coming in the future that you don't see. And then we're going to ask a question, a yes or no question at the end. And I'm going to use Angel Oracle to get that answer. So we are calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And cross watchers, you are welcome here. We do have the two of pentacles that popped out. I'm going to put it back in. But this is about juggling and being in two different worlds at the same time. All right. We're going to put out your energy, Aquarius. So this is your energy around the situation. This is the person that you are thinking about. This is their energy around the situation. And here is the situational energy. Here is the energy that is coming toward you that you don't see. And first we're going to take a look at the situation. Here we have the Empress reversed. This Empress is an unhappy Empress. Somehow there's something going on where she is not feeling like she's being treated like the empress that she is. Somebody is calling her out of her worth. This is about dealing with self-esteem. This is about saying yes to the universe, to something that you don't really want, but the universe then, as soon as you say yes to something, gives you more of it. So if you're saying yes to the universe, when you don't mean it, that could be what's going on here too. Here we have the hair flow reversed. So this is a leveled up committed relationship. This is marriage. This is, this can be a job that is very corporate, very high up on the ladder, but it's reversed. So this is some kind of up leveled commitment not happening or taken away. This could be, oh, I'm hearing a divorce. And here we have the Four of Swords. This is somebody basically sleeping on the switch. This is somebody taking a snooze while all this is happening. It's like, I need to take a break. I need to step out of this commitment. I need to meditate. I need to take time for myself. So the situation looks like the Empress is a married Empress or in a very committed, solid, stable partnership. And she's reversed. So this could be the Empress energy, the feminine energy that has stepped out of the commitment. But this could also be the feminine energy that has been stepped out on that this higher level commitment has been taken away and somebody's just kind of acting aloof, but taking some time to, taking some time for themselves. This literally could be somebody who's trying to decide whether or not they're gonna stay in this high level committed relationship. So let's take a look at your, your energy around this Aquarius. Here we have the Ten of Cups reversed. This could be the end of emotional fulfillment or the ending of a cycle having to do with emotional fulfillment. This is the Page of Wands. This is a door opening for a new, a new exciting adventure is what I want to say. And here we have the Four of Wands, but it's reversed. This is a twin flame card. This is an 11-11 card. It's reversed. It's talking about the end of a cycle, 
an open door, a new beginning, and the foundation being uprooted. This new beginning might happen when the foundation is uprooted. This might be how you're feeling about this situation. Is there, it seems like someone else might be taking a snooze from the relationship so that they can entertain a new opportunity. And in order to do that, they have to uproot the solid foundation that's already there. We're gonna clarify all of this. Aquarius, let's look at your person that you are thinking about. Let's look at their energy around this. So the person that you are thinking of, they're talking about a cycle ending. They're talking about one chapter closing and another chapter beginning. They're coming in as King of Wands energy reversed. So this King of Wands energy reversed is unplugging from a situation, taking their energy out of a situation. And here the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. And so they are, what I'm hearing is recovering, trying to recover. What they would be recovering is the solid foundation or a solid foundation. So this is them moving slowly to build a solid foundation. So they, this is movement. Let's get some clarifying cards here. First, I wanna do some clarifying of this situation, Aquarius. The situation where this Empress is here, overturned. This Hierophant is overturned. This committed Empress is overturned. And this looks like some kind of long-standing relationship. This, this isn't a new fling of a relationship. This is a long-standing relationship. I almost feel like someone wants to put you on hold. Okay, let's look at your energy. We're clarifying your energy around this situation. Your energy around this situation is this this masculine energy and this masculine energy is like on the search for love or pursuing love. It's almost like your energy, this could be you Aquarius or this could be your energy around your partner pursuing love, this open door. This could be you though, pursuing this open door. Could even be you pursuing this new opportunity because someone else closed the chapter, left you free and open to be open to a new suitor. I think that's uh, that's the thing when this when this person that you're dealing with unplugged. I don't believe that they were considering that you're an empress energy, and that you're not just going to be hanging in the lurch there, Aquarius. All right, let's get a clarifier for this person. This person that you're thinking of does want the solid, safe place. They want home, but they're also coming up as the King of Wands. There's something that they are not creating in their energy that feels solid, safe, and secure. They're actually, it's like undoing that or untying that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get another clarifier for each of these. This situation, Aquarius. Here's the Seven of Cups reversed. So here's all of this opportunity, even possibly some magical thinking, but all this opportunity being focused. It's like focusing. This would be part of this meditation I'm focusing on this longevity. I'm focusing on, wow, what I'm hearing is all the things that have been lost on you. I'm looking at your energy. You have the Hankman reversed. 
This is about seeing everything that you need to see and no longer sacrificing the person that you are thinking about, the person that you are dealing with. They are hermiting. They are going in for some healthy self-reflection. They're going in to seek and find answers and figure out of what I'm hearing is the terms. Okay. So we're gonna look at what is coming in the future that you don't see. We have the three of cups. This is celebration. This is celebrating after feeling yucky. Here's the page of swords. This is communication. Celebration, communication. And then we have the five of cups reversed. So it looks like somebody is celebrating some information that they get about another person being in deep regret. This almost reminds me of like a divorce party type of situation. Let's get some clarification on that. Happening forward into the future, something that you don't see, some kind of celebration about information. Yeah, and this is, it's about, it's about the heart. All of this is about the heart. All of this is, is about broken hearts, sadness, disappointment, healing the heart. Even this divorce party type of celebration is about trying to heal the heart. Let's get some information. Actually, let's clarify that one more time. Yep, here you have the sun card, this beautiful healing card, but it's reversed. And this is talking about not being able to see or receive all of the healing that is around, that is around. Somebody is in a place where they're not they're not healing, they're in regret, they're in upset, they're in grief. I wanna say they're in denial as well. Okay, now let's see what is it that the person that you are thinking of is wanting to tell you? What is it that they're wanting to say that they haven't said out loud to you? To your face, Aquarius. What is it that they're wanting to say to you? Hit the terms of the fairy best of bitch making swerve. Okay, it's reversed. This person is not trying to impress you right now. They're not trying to woo you. They're not trying to impress you. Full power and it's reversed. They're saying that they're feeling weak. They're not feeling like they're in their power. And for more safe sound, safe and sound, in tuned in chains. And they're reversed. They're not feeling safe and sound. They're not feeling bound by fate or destiny which also means they kind of feel like they're lost out there. They're kind of lost out there, not knowing where their home is. Okay, Aquarius. This is gonna be the yes or no question pulling from the angel oracle. So you might want to pause the video if you want to think about your question, but just think about your question as I'm shuffling. We're going to get a yes or no. We're going to clarify it. So yes or no for Aquarius. I'm going to say this is a yes. This is taking action. Take action. We're going to get some clarification on that. Take action, Aquarius. This is something happening really fast, taking action, making something happen fast. This is also an epiphany. This could be information that you're receiving fast. Just like down here, this is information that you get. We're gonna 
clarify that one more time. Just taking action, moving fast. This is like lightning striking. Yep. And this has to do with this King of Cups reversed. This is someone who is very disappointed. This could also be somebody who's emotionally manipulative, but this is someone who's been defeated and I want to say devastated. This other card wanted to come out too. Okay, here's the lover's card reversed. So this is about taking action. And this has something to do with this King of Cups who is devastated about the choice made in love. Okay, Aquarius. Ooh, this was a doozy for the end of the month and this full moon in Scorpio. So let me know how that resonates and I'll be back with the tarot scopes for May at the end of the month. Take it easy, Aquarius. See you soon.